With PlayForm's freeform process, you can generate a sequence of images that are amalgamations of a single collection, and through training, the results will resolve more clearly over time. For the freeform model, you'll need one set of inspiration images which inform the shades and contours of the results. In this example, we're using Anna Atkins algae cyanotypes, which are topically and thematically similar. Once added, we can begin training our AI model. This model has a recommended training time of approximately 2 hours and 30 minutes, or 50 snapshots. Here, we've generated results that attempt to capture wholly new versions with 50 snapshots. We can focus on one result and really be able to see how the AI has tried to learn from the originals and allow it to grow into an inspired but unique creation. As the creative morph process learns how to translate from one image set to the other, it attempts to preserve the contours and shapes present in the inspiration images, while taking cues from the colors and styling within the influence images. There are two main cases for results. First is abstraction. So it can be seen here with these nudes to color field paintings. And as we pull back to an older snapshot, the resulting image was abstracted from its original inspiration image. The contours still remain, but are contextually distanced from the original. And the second, deformation. So with this flowers to skulls project, you can see how it adjusts the contours over time to more closely match the influence set of skulls. Your choice of inputs will heavily influence the type of results generated as it is based on the path in which the first set is able to morph into the second. With Playform style transfer process, you can create highly reusable models to generate stylized images. The contours and shapes of the inspiration image sets are maintained, but have their color, texture, and other stylistic elements altered with the guidance of the style image sets. The resulting images are much more straightforward compared to Creative Morph. The contours are better preserved, and the results are less deformed throughout training. To reuse these style transfer models, go to the Generate tab, and remember to choose an image with similar contours to your inspiration set, since this model has learned and customized itself to fit your initial images. With a different style input, we can get differing generation results with the same uploaded image.